everybody. Welcome back for some more yoga during our pandemic. Uh, happy to still offer these videos to you on YouTube. We really, really appreciate people um, letting us know that they're enjoying them and taking advantage of it. Um, we have different teachers offering different practices as well as just different practices on here, different lengths of time and um, things that maybe are a little more slow paced or more rigorous. So you should hopefully be able to find something on the channel that works for you. Um, and just a little transparency, there have been a few of these that I have actually uh, recorded and I only make it about halfway through and I just run out of steam and get distracted and so um, just like the rest of you if you find yourself going through a video and then just all of a sudden just can't do it anymore like like it's in the way you're at home um that's normal maybe one day i'll put some of the outtakes up um anyway it's a process it's practice um i'm gonna start sitting on my block today um sitting cross-legged up on my block it gets my hips up lets my knees relax a bit lengthens my spine my neck. Um, so find what feels good to you. If you like to sit on the block, you're sort of sitting near the front edge of it, just enough to let the hips open a bit here, the thighs kind of fall forward and the knees relax down. So it lengthens my spine. Then just start with closing the eyes. It's a cool day out there. Cool, cloudy, lots of rain, so I'm not sure when you're taking your time to enjoy this video, but that's what we have going on here today. So probably going to move a bit, um, keep me from getting cold. And so you sit here with your long spine, the long neck and shoulders soft away from the ears, breathing, always bringing your attention to the breath, finding how it feels to you today. Does it automatically bring you some peace and sense of grounding as you inhale and some softening as you exhale? Or do you find it shallow, hurried, or tension? distracted. And take this time to let it serve you entirely. To allow your breath to connect your body and your mind to this place that you've chosen. This time on your mat, this place on your mat. Bring the hands to heart center. Gently let the chin fall towards the chest. Allow the shoulders to further soften away from the ears. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice. Leaving hands at prayer, eyes closed, inhale, draw a line with the nose to the ceiling, open the throat. And next exhale, brings the head to neutral and gently open the eyes, release the palms down onto the thighs or the knees. Inhale, draw shoulders up to the ears, roll them back and slide them down the back. And the exhale. Again, inhale, bring them up, back, exhale. One last time. And exhale, send the arms forward, palms face down. And flip your palm, make that handprint on the front wall. And flex the wrist, send the fingers down. Send the arms forward and reach the fingertips away. Turn the palms so they face out. 
thinking of that centered position where you're attached on your mat today, we take a nice big inhale and exhale, sweep the hands out to the side. So arms are extended out to either side, palms face back. Now roll the arms, palms now shine to the ceiling, open the heart and the shoulders. And goddess the arms, spread the fingers apart and then make your fists nice and tight. Open the hands wide. Make your fists open wide. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Make your fists one more time. Open the hands wide. Open the hands a little wider. And release the arms down onto the thigh. Inhale, seated cow. And exhale, seated cat. Tuck the tailbone, gaze down at the belly, lengthen. Find that length in the spine and across the shoulder blades. Inhale, cow. Open the heart. And exhale, cat. One more full round. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to a neutral seat, goddess the arms again. Take a big inhale, torso around the spine to the right, exhale. Press the air out, inhale through center, and exhale to the left. Think about pressing all the air out, inhale through the nose, exhale right, inhale through center, Exhale left. One more time each side. Inhale. And go over to the left. Exhale. And come back through center. Draw the shoulder blades together. Open the heart. Gaze lifts. And relax. Arms down by the side and slide the block back towards the top of the mat. Take a block to the outside edge, the top corner of your mat, whichever side that is for you today. Inhale, sweeps the arms high. Soften the shoulders away from the ears, turn the palms away, exhale, lower the hands. Inhale, sweeps them high. Twist is to the right, hands come down. Gentle touch of the fingertips to the mat. Inhale, sweeps the arms high, come through center, and exhale to the other side, the hands come down. Inhale, high, and exhale down. So just a little different than when the arms goddess come through center. And exhale to the left. One more time each side. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right, and back through to the left. Come back through center. Turn the palms away. Exhale, lower the hands down. We'll draw both knees into the chest here, working on a little boat pose. So coming back on your sit bones, draw the knees into the chest. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. The hearts open and then lift the shins. Keep the feet and the knees together. So squeezing everything together, extend the arms forward, palms face up. And extend the right leg long, bending it towards the ceiling. And then switch, bring the right shin parallel and extend the left. Leaving the ribs in, engaging the core, breathing. Right leg extends, left knee then. And switch. One more time each side. And last 
high as the left foot extends, leg is long. And both shins parallel once again. Hands behind the thighs, allow the heat to come down, sit up nice and tall. Warming up the core just a little bit here. And when you're ready, we're going to add on to that. And bring yourself back into boat pose. Knees bent, shins parallel, arms face forward, palms face up. And now it's straighten both legs. Then both arms up, maybe a little bit higher here. Knit the ribs in, draw the shoulders away from the ears. And so take whatever variation you need here. You can always bend the legs as we did, along the hands behind the thighs. And where you are now, take the hands behind the thighs, bend the knees, and lower the feet down. Found angle, so soles of the feet together, knees wide, sit up nice and tall. Long spine, long neck, soft shoulders. And exhale, fold forward. Just take the hands around the feet, interlace the fingers. And bring the head and neck up in alignment. Walk yourself back up. We're going to come down now. Bring the knees together. Soles of the feet together. Lying flat back. Interlace the hands behind the head. Engage the core and lift the head and neck up. Draw the right knee in, extend the left leg long, and take left elbow to right knee. A little twist, and then switch to the other side. Right elbow to left knee, and then twist. So keeping everything on the breath, alternating side to side nice and slow. Don't pull on the neck and the head. Keep the core engaged. Nice little bit of core work today. We're going to do two more on each side. So we started with the right. So one on the right. One on the left. And two on the right. And two on the left. And then lower down, leaving the knees bent, the arms come down by the side. The knees are in towards the chest, the back of the head's on the mat. Let the shoulders feel heavy here. I'm going to wrap the arms around, give yourself that little hug. Now lift the head and neck up in a teeny little ball. And on the inhale, full body stretch. Arms go high, reach overhead, legs extend. So nothing touches the mat here. And then exhale, sweep the arms down by the side. Knees draw in. Give yourself that hug. Head and neck up. Inhale, extend for length. And exhale, sweep the arms down, draw the knees in. Ten of these total on your breath. Inhaling for length. And exhale. Four. Five. Seven, eight, 
nine. And ten. Give yourself that little hug. And then release the feet down, head down, hands by the side. Think of a bridge prep position here. Core is really work. Nice little four series really gets you warmed up. Paying attention to the breath as we work on some core work is really a nice, uh, nice way to connect to the body. Really feel everything working together. Little bridge work. Inhale, lift the hips. Not super high into the bridge right now. Keep everything in line. Feet, knees, hips. Back of the heads down, chin away from the chest. Up sort of on the upper back here. And exhale with control, lower all the way down. Maybe the spine feels a little longer. You can walk the shoulders away a bit. Connect back down to the mat. And then draw the knees into the chest. One more time for that little hug. Left knee stays bent. Right leg extends to the ceiling. And now sole of the left foot down. Hands reach up to the thigh or behind the calf, maybe to the ankle or to the foot. If you have a strap or would like to have a strap, you can grab a strap for this. You can use a towel, a pie, uh, whatever, a dish towel. Um, keep the shoulders down. Nice bit of pressure through that left foot. The shoulders are down, hips are down, right leg extends to the ceiling. We're just going to draw the right leg back. Keep the ankle flexed here. Now bend the right knee into the chest and lengthen left leg long the length of the mat. And finding that connection, straighten the right leg to the ceiling once again. And start drawing the leg back. So thinking about if we were going into a split. You know, on the floor, one leg extends to the front, the other to the back. And then the right knee, sole of the foot comes down, leaving the knee in line. Draw the left knee in towards the chest and extend the left leg long. Active through the feet, shoulders down, back the heads down to neck protective. Keeping the hips down. Keep that left foot flexed and open the back of the leg. Now left knee into the chest, right leg extends long the length of the mat. Think about a split here. This left leg extends to the ceiling once again. One more full breath. Really open the back of that leg and then bend the knee. Send both legs long, arms down by the side, baby shavasana here. Let the legs keep all open naturally, palms face up. Couple 
pull around to grab here. We're going to meet in tabletop, so however you'd like to get there, if that's bringing the knees into the chest and rocking front to back, coming up through a seat, finding table, or grab some water along the way if you'd like. Walks at the top of the mat. Knees under hips, tops of the feet on the mat. Take a peek back. You should be hiding behind the legs. Wrists just a little wider than the shoulders here. Fingers spread wide. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And take a few rounds of cow and cat on your breath. Inhale the wholeness, heart opens, belly drops through those big inhales. Tailbone tucks, press the mat away, gaze at the navel. Find that length of frost. Between the shoulder blades. One more full round begins with cow and ends with cat. Neutral table. Inhale, right foot steps forward between the hands. Grab your right block and slide it to the outside of the right foot. Tuck the left toes and straighten the left leg, finding yourself in your lunge. Letting the torso be engaged here, hovering over the thigh. Fingers dragging down towards the mat. Keep the bend in the right knee, left hand plants, right arm high. Maybe your twisted lunge, your revolve lunge rather. Moving to twisted lunge, inhale brings you up. Left arm forward, right arm back. And inhale, both arms forward, crescent lunge. And exhale, open warrior two. Reverse warrior, flip the right palm. Keep the bend in the right knee. Supported side angle pose, right forearm, right thigh, left arm high. Warrior two. In reverse triangle, right leg straightens, right finger sweep high. Moving into triangle pose here, the arms come up parallel to the earth, reach forward through the right hand. When you can't reach any further forward, right hand comes down, finds that block, left arm is high. Warrior two. Present pose. Hands come down to frame the foot, slide the block out of the way. Hands down, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Find cobra. Untuck the toes, relax the buttocks muscles, tuck the elbows in. Inhale. Gaze is still down. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, engage the quads, press back through plank pose. 
and exhale, coming into tabletop. Inhale through cow, and exhale, cat. Neutral table, inhale, left foot forward between the hands. Slide your block to the outside of the left foot. Let the right toes lift up into your lunge. Torso hovers over the thigh, shoulders away from the ears, fingers dangling towards the earth. Right hand comes down, left arm high. Revolve lunge. And inhale, twisted. Lifting up the right arm forward, left arm is back. Keep lifting the right quad up here. Inhale, crescent pose. Heat a crescent, draw the thighs together. Little tuck of the tailbone and slight bend in the back leg. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse. Supported side angle pose. Left forearm to thigh, right hand high. Warrior two. Resting firmly through the outer edge of the back foot, net into the arch, reverse triangle. Left leg straightens, long line from left fingers to left toes. And triangle pose, hands parallel, reach forward with the left. And then left hand finds the block, right arms high. Warrior two. Crescent. Hands frame the foot, slide your block to that upper corner. Left hands down, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Untuck the toes, hands come down by the side, palms face down. Inhale, right leg lifts, half a little bit. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift the left leg. Lower down and inhale, lift it all up. Gazes down, shoulders pulling away from the ears, fingers reaching towards the feet. Legs are up, feet are reaching back. And lower all the way down onto the right cheek, palms face up. Back through center, hands come back up by the side bodies, tuck the elbows, tuck the toes, inhale, plank pose, exhale, down dog. Pedal it out here, lifting one heel at a time, bending the knee, twisting the hips, whatever feels good. A little hovering extended child's pose. 
You feel nice. Send the heart back. Lift the hips. Turn the head down. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Right foot, right thumb. Slide the right block back. The outside of the foot. Left palm plants. Inhale, right arm high. And inhale up to your twisted lunge. Inhale, crescent, both arms high. And exhale, warrior two. Reverse. And supported side angle pose. Right forearm to right thigh, pressing away, not dumping into the shoulder. Warrior two. Reverse triangle. Triangle pose, reach forward with the right hand. And warrior two. Pulsing warriors, right leg straightens, palms touch. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, pulse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, pulse. Exhale, warrior two. Windmill the arms. Down, left arm comes down, right arm high. So your revolve lunge once again. And right hand comes down, move the block to the side. Drop the left knee down. Right knee comes back, tabletop. Neutral table. Step the hands forward, a handprint, touch the toes, exhale, down dog. Connecting to the breath, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, left foot, left thumb. Slide the block to the outside of the left foot. Press it open to the left. You revolve lunge and inhale, lifts you into your twisted lunge. Left arm is back, right arm is forward. And inhale, crescent. Warrior two. Reverse. And supported side angle pose. Left forearm, left thigh, right arm high. So we tend to really open up here. So just think about stacking the shoulders. Right arm extends towards the ceiling. Warrior two. Reverse triangle. Left arm lengthens, left leg straightens. And triangle pose. Reach forward with the left hand. Back the shoulders. Maybe left hand finds that block if you like it. Triangle pose. And warrior two. Nice bend in the front knee. Hands reach away from each other. Soften the shoulders. Pulsing warriors. Left leg straightens. Palms touch. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale, pulse it up. Exhale, warrior two. Two, inhale, brings it up. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, crescent pose. Windmill the hands down, right arm down, left arm high. And exhale, right hand comes down, left hand rather comes down and slide the block off. Plant the palms, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, down dog. Take a big inhale through the nose. And side out. Two more just like that. Inhale, plank. Working on the core here. Knit the ribs in. Long spine. Extended child's pose. Knees wide. Toes together. Hips come back. Hands reach forward. Walk the left hand over and place it on top of the right. You feel the left hip lifting a bit. Feel like you can breathe into that space and soften the hip down. Looking for and finding length in the left side body between the shoulder and the hip. One more full round of breath on this side. And when you're ready, take it over to the left. Left hand comes over, right hand on top, and feel the right hip. Another full round of breath here. Extended child's pose. Walk the hands back. Have a seat on the heels of the knees nice and wide. The right arm out to the side. Sweep it behind you and plant the palm down so fingers are away. Like there's a string in the left hand lifting the hips. Inhale, reach. Really open the hip flexors. Open the quads. Lengthen through the spine using the inhales. And slowly release. And sweep the left arm out to the side. Hand comes down, inhales the hips. And slowly release. I'm grabbing a sip of water here, pulling out the shoulders, maybe. Just some gentle twists with the neck from left to right. And the eyes closed, shoulders soft, whatever feels good here as we transition back to down dog. So if you've had your water and you're ready, 
He's starting uh, tabletop, step the hands forward, a hand front, tuck the toes under, and send the hips high. Inhale high on the toes. Exhale, melt the heels. Inhale high. Exhale, melt. One last time. Inhale, heels high, hips high, crown of the head down. Exhale, melt. Inhale, right leg high. Scorpion, stack the hips. Bend the right knee. Take a peek under the left armpit if you like. Maybe you see that right foot. And extend three point. Right legs high. Thinking cat back. Come up on the left toes. Draw the right knee in towards the nose. Arching through the back. And take the leg high, three point. Exhale, knee to nose, cheetah. And take it high, three point. Exhale, knee to nose, cheetah, hold it. And step the right foot forward between the hands. Inhale, press it forward. Warrior two. Five pointed star, right toes turn in. Little bend in the knees, flat back, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Left hand plants in the center. Inhale, open to the right. And exhale, right hand behind the left. Right hand finds left foot. Left hand walks away. And take a twist under that left arm and bend the right knee. Left hand comes back, unwind, right arm comes high. And exhale, right hand comes down, inhale, open to the left. Exhale, left arm behind the right, finds the left foot. Right hand walks away, take a twist under the right arm. Unwind, right hand slides back in, left arm high. Exhale down, pivot to the right. Find pyramid, so left foot steps forward just a bit. Toes are turned out a tiny bit, straighten through the legs, fold over the right leg. So you have your blocks handy here. You can slide them under at whatever height that you would like. And moving into warrior three, we're going to step the blocks forward if you like. Press the right leg straight with the left leg. So if you have your blocks, you can press the palms into the blocks. Hips are closed to the floor here. Pressing through that right foot. You take the arms out to the side if you'd like, or hands to prayer, or if you'd like, interlace the fingers, biceps by the ears, and reach the fingers forward, whatever variation you'd like. We'll step it back down, finding a forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Slide your blocks back so they'll be ready for you next time. Hop or step back. Find plank pose.
exhale down dog. Inhale, left leg high, scorpion, stack the hips, bend the knee, look under that right um, arm to the left foot. And extend left leg long, three point. Come up on the right toes and exhale, knee to nose, cheetah. Inhale, three point. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three point. And exhale, knee to nose, hold it. Left foot steps forward between the hands. Inhale, press it. And exhale, warrior two. Five-pointed star, left toes turn in. And it's Skandasana to the right, so a nice deep bend in the left leg, and the right leg extends. Walking to the right here. One more time each side, taking it back over to the left. Maybe the left hand plants and right arm extends high. And then one last time over to the right, finding whatever variation on this side you've taken on the other. And coming back through center, find your wide leg forward fold. And then walk around, pyramid pose. Left leg is forward, right leg's back. So you're in little separate lanes here. Right toes are turned out a bit. And again, you're folding over the left thigh. If you'd like your blocks, bring them down. Under the shoulders, whatever level you like. Knowing that we're moving into our warrior three here, so when you're ready, if you like the blocks, step them forward and press through the left foot, lift the right leg. I'm taking whatever variations you took on the other side, or attempting, if arms went out like airplane wings. Remember the hips are facing the floor here. Maybe hands were at heart center. Shoulders are away from the ears, full control, or maybe it was fingers interlaced, biceps by the ears, reaching hands away from foot. Whatever variation you took, we'll meet in our forward fold at the top of the mat. And inhale, half lift. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe hands are on thighs or shins. Maybe they're still down at the mat. Really enjoy this half lift. Think of that number seven. Nice strong practice, nearing the end of it. The shoulders are away from the ears. Spine's long. Crown of the head through the tailbone. Legs are strong. Torso is strong. Fully connected here. We'll meet in extended mountain pose. So press through the feet, sweep the arms forward, reach high through the hands. Pressing down, reaching high all at the same time, shoulders away from the ears. Now lift the heels. Next breath, four, and lower the heels down, turn the palms away, find mountain pose. 
through the top of the mat, facing forward, mountain pose. Maybe lift the toes, spread them apart, and place them back down to really ground down. Really connect and have a strong foundation. Shoulders slide away from the ears. Fingers move towards the mat on the exhale. Really connecting, rooting down to rise up, bringing the breath, the energy through the soles, the arches of the feet. Coming up tall and exhale, finding that place you've chosen today. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Palms touch, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Draw all that air in. Exhale, fold. Last one. Step it back. Find tabletop. Inhale, cow. Beautiful length in the spine. Open heart. Exhale, cat. And come back through a seated position. We'll leave the left leg long, draw the left toes back, and take the right foot over to the outside of the left thigh. You want the sole of the foot down. If the sole of the foot won't stay down, you can always leave it on the inside of the thigh. We're going to sit up tall. We're going to take our twist open to the, um, open to the right here. We're going to take the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. The right palm, or the left palm is shining towards the right. Left foot is flexed. You can take the right hand behind you if you find yourself falling back. This is our version of our twist today. Slowly unwind through center and extend the right leg long. Draw the left knee in. Match what you did on the other side with the sole of the foot. Draw the toes back. And right elbow to the outside. So my right palm is shining to the side. You can take this back hand here and press myself forward. And slowly release. Come down onto my back. My knees come together, feet to the wide side of the mat. Left hand to heart, right hand to belly. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Remembering what brought you here today. Remembering your purpose that you set out for today. Whether it was earlier in the day or when we set our intention, take a moment. Warmed up the body and used it in the breath. Guide us through Nice little practice that stimulates circulation, digestion, created some warmth on this cooler day. A little bouncing, a little twisting, a little forward, and a lot of breath, and a lot of heart. Find your Shavasana. That's legs extended long, or maybe just the knees go wide and the soles of the feet go together. Whatever that is today, 
leaving the hands as they are in the heart of the belly or taking them by the side. And letting the breath go. Allowing the mat to support you. Knowing that this was just what you needed. And right now, we are all right. Allow the body to be still and the mind to be still. Letting the practice leave us completely balanced. Feeling it wash over the heart, the, the belly, the ribs hips, the shoulders, the legs, the arms, the hands, the feet, the face. Feel the weight of the body pressing into the mat. The mat is there to hold you. Feel the weight of the ribs. Pressing the back into the mat. Staying here as long as you like. And when you're ready, if you want to begin to move and want some guidance along the way, you can Wiggle the fingers and toes. Open and close the jaw. Maybe gently draw the knees into the chest for a little hug and a slight rock from side to side. The next time you rock towards the right, go ahead and roll over onto the right side. Let the right arm cradle the head. You know, if you're pregnant, you go to your left side, or if you just prefer the left side. When our fetal position is a position of renewal and rebirth, a great place to reflect, to thank yourself for taking the time, for showing up, making the effort that you deserve. And when you're ready to close and move on to a seated position, let the hands and arms help you up. Give the body a break. Meet in a comfy seat with the eyes closed and the hands apart center. Three big inhales and exhales. And exhale, side out. Inhale big and hold it at the top. Sit in a little bit more. And open mouth, side out. Your biggest, deepest inhale of the day. Your fullest exhale yet. Keep pressing the air out. Thank you for sharing your practice today, allowing me to guide you, for joining me. That reminder that we're far more alike than we are different from me to you. Namaste. Thank you. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you soon.